So here we are going to see about the graph about graphing the trigonometric functions. So we know this. This is the quadratic graph. Yes, it's having the four quarters, which is first, second, third, and fourth. The first quarter will have the positive positive values always, and second will have the positive and negative. Am I right? Yes. Negative positive or positive negative. Um, it's gonna have positive and it's gonna have negative positive. Negative and positive, yes, absolutely. And third quadrant will be always negative negative, and fourth quadrant will be the positive and negative. Correct. Yes. And also one more thing: the angle from this x-axis to this y-axis. That means the first quadrant will have the angles of zero to ninety degree. Am I right? Yeah. I don't know about that, Miss. Yes, zero to ninety degree, and second quadrant will have the ninety to one eighty degree, and third quadrant will fulfill the one eighty to two seventy, and fourth quadrant will fulfill our two seventy to three sixty. Correct. Oh, If yes, you are yes. having your trigonometry functions, your zero to ninety angle will fall on your first quadrant only. Yes. And in the second quadrant, ninety to one eighty will fall, and one eighty to two seventy will fall on the third quadrant. Two seventy to three hundred and sixty values will fall on the fourth quadrant. Okay, and here the unit ray. If you are having the unit circle over there inside your graph, so we can make the right angle triangle. Correct? Am I right? Yes. the right angle triangle will create it inside the unit circle am i right sorry for my bad right now it's okay i can understand yeah so here the ra radius of the circle is 1 correct how is it This one miss because you are using only one unit no 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 just we are plotting as the one unit And we are creating. Yeah, okay. okay. So R is equal to one always means it's called the unit circle. Okay. In this okay. unit circle, from the unit circle, we are going to create the two seventy and zero. Am I right, dear? Mm hmm. You understood? Yes. Yes, I understood. So it will create inside a unit circle inside. Just I am creating the right angle triangle. So rise and run, we know that well, correct? No, which is rise and run? Yeah, okay. Which is x value and which is y value here? If I am um, plotting, yeah. Which is x? Know. Which is Miss? I didn't no, learn. No. no, dear. Just you see the graph. You can see this is create. This is how the y value. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. That is x value. Okay. The down. Just you plot two comma three in your graph. Yeah. Just you plot two comma three. The downwards I had kept two comma three. Where you will plot? Mm -hmm. I'll plot um um the one chord um. I'll put it in the first quadrant. Because both yes, values the positive. Yes, of course. So two so, comma three means you will start with your two, two here. Right. Am I right? Yeah, and then you go three steps, three units up. Yes, of course. So what is the measurement of this? It's two, two. correct? And yes. what's the measurement of this? Three. Three. Am I right? So yes. that's only I'm trying to say here. It's the y value, and this is the x value. Am I right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I get it. Yeah. Yes. So the x will be always having the so here one theta will be created yes one angle is created by here yes or no yes one angle is created by here so because it's known as ninety degree correct yes it's perpendicular now is creating the ninety degree and here it was creating the theta this circle has the center at the origin. So the origin is zero comma zero, and the radius is one. Just I am cre creating the unit as one and 
creating the circle over there through the circle i can make the one right angle triangle so in the right angle triangle the x and y values are the sides value correct mm. am i right yes you are yes so you can see this the at the point of the me the point p can be moved so here i can point as the p this point as the p so this is my cos theta comma sin theta why i am giving cos theta and sin theta x coordinates will always have the cos theta and y coordinates will have always the sin theta note it down 